Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 5 of solving SQL challenges playlist and in this video we will discuss on temporal analysis of user entry and exit logs. So this statement seems a little confusing. So better let me explain this in a more clear. For that let me move to the another slide. Okay. So this left table is user activity table where we have detail about the user entry and exit time. So every time a particular user enters and exit, a log will be captured. Okay. So let us try to understand this for user ID1. So the first row is for user ID1 and its entry time was 8.5 and exit time was 9.30. Correct. Then again for the same user ID, uh, Again, there was an entry log at 10 and the exit time was 11.45. Okay, so in total, if we summarize for user 1, the entry time was 8.5, then the user 1 exit at this time, 9.30. Then again, user 1 made an entry at 10 and uh, the exit time was 11.45. Okay, so if you observe this right table, which is the output table for user 1, so the start time is First time when entry was captured. So first time was 8.5, correct? And second time was at 10 a.m. But the first time it was captured at 8.5. So the start time would be the first time when a user 1 made an entry. So that was at 8.5, correct? And what is the end time? End time is 11.45. So if you observe, there was two end time. One at 9.30 and another at 11.45. So we have to consider when was the final exit for user ID 1. So there was multiple exit, but the final exit was at 1145 because after that we don't have any log for user ID 1, correct? So the end time is 1145. In similar way, you can validate the same for user ID 2 and user ID 3. So start time would be first time when that particular user made an entry and the end time would be the last time which was captured during exit. Okay, so I hope now it is clear. So how we can implement this using SQL query? Let us discuss that part. Okay, uh, we'll come again to the slide. But uh, before that, let me switch to SFMS and uh, let us try to implement the query first. Okay, now we already have a user activity table created. I'll share DDL and a DML script in the description box. So if you need it, then you can take it from there. Okay. Let me select that table. So this is the same data which was there in slide. Now the requirement was for every user, let's say user ID 1, we want the minimum of entry time and that will become start time and maximum of this exit time which will become end time or exit time for that particular user in output table, correct? So for that, first we need user ID column. Then we want minimum of this entry underscore time as start time. Then we want maximum of exit time as end time correct yes so this is the same column start time and end time now these two things we have to calculate on basis of what on basis of every user id correct so for every user id we want minimum of this entry time and uh, maximum of this exit time so based on every user id so we need to specify this using group by group by user underscore id correct now let me run it you see this is the same output what we are getting here in output table so if you observe for user id1 first time that user made an entry at 85 and there was multiple exit time but the final exit was at 11.45 because after that we didn't have any log for this user id1 
then again for user id 2 the first time that user made an entry at 8 10 correct then the final exit time was 10 30 similarly for user id 3 okay now there was one more requirement which is missing here we need to give this time limit because uh, we have to calculate only for this date okay we don't want to uh, check this condition for other dates so we will specify where start underscore time sorry where entry underscore time the entry time should be 2024-0301 this date is fixed and the time will start from 8 am to 6 pm ist okay that means 800 to 18.00. okay so this is the time limit so entry time should be greater than equal to let me copy this and paste it so this is the start time entry time and exit time should be less than equal to again let me copy paste and instead of 8 it will become 18 okay so between this time only we need to calculate our logic so this time you can consider this as a kind of uh, working hour okay so within these working hours only user will make an entry or exit right so we have to calculate these things in this time runs okay so let me run this query again of course you will get the same output as the data which i have inserted in this table is only for this date so it will not change the output but in case if we are getting some additional data then we can filter it out using this condition okay so this is the output which is required and this is the sql query or the logic which we need to implement in order to achieve this output okay now let me switch back to our slide so this is the same thing what we have written here in sql query and this is the exact output what we were getting 